Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the bench. It's honestly one of my favorite lifts. Probably one of the lifts that gets the most backlash on social media, that or if you pull sumo. But um, today specifically gonna to be talking about one of my favorite cues, which is called chest to chin. And what this does is it helps you get up onto your traps. So you know what, with every lift, the most important thing is having a great setup. So when we talk about bench, I'm gonna be talking about specific bench technique for powerlifting. So before you get your panties in a bunch and- Wrong, wrong, wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. And you get all upset in the comments like, that's not right, bodybuilders do it this way. Um, even bodybuilders need to retract their shoulders and get good positioning so that they don't hurt themselves. That being said, this positioning will get you into a higher arch, which is preferable for powerlifting because what we do wanna do is reduce range of motion. And yes, the IPF just came out with a rule that you have to reach bench depth. Now, that rule does not go into effect next year. We're not sure exactly how that's gonna look if you just need to you know, hit 90. How are they gonna judge that from the side? But nevertheless, that still does not mean that you can't bench with an arch or with a slight arch. You might just need to change where your hands are on the bar and where your touch point is. Um, again, we're gonna have to see what that looks like when it comes down to judging. That being said, this is one of my favorite bench cues to help keep my chest high, keep me up onto my traps. There's a great video series on Juggernaut Training Systems page. Go watch that. In that series, we talk a lot about getting up as high as possible on your traps. The cue that I like to use is chest to chin. So I'm gonna demonstrate what that looks like and what it looks like when you're not doing that effectively. So I'm gonna show you two ways to set up. The first way is gonna be with your feet on the bench. This is for those federations that still allow you to set up, putting your feet on the bench. And then I'm gonna show you the second way, using your feet on the floor because the IPF and the PA, which is the IPF affiliate in the United States, um, changed the rules so you cannot put your feet on the bench when you're setting up. Okay, again, chest to chin, what does that mean? So as you're setting up, again, we talk about getting up really high onto your traps. If you're still able to use the bench to set up, you're gonna bring your feet up. You're gonna use the side of parts of the rack to set yourself up onto your traps as high as possible. Again, the cue, chest to chin. That's gonna get your neck flat as possible onto the bench and keep your chest high. Once you grab the bar, a big mistake you see people make is when they bring that foot down, their chest starts to drop and you lose that high trap positioning. You're gonna use your foot to push your chest back towards your chin. You're gonna bring your other foot down, do the same. Push your chest back up towards your chin. Unrack. And then you're ready to bench. Second way, if you are in PA or the IPF and you're not allowed to use the bench anymore to set yourself up, you can still get into that positioning, but it is gonna take a little bit of practice to get comfortable and to get as high as possible when you're not able to use the bench to get into that tall bridge positioning. So what I suggest is getting your feet into position where they would be once you unrack that bar. Once you know where that positioning is, I like to then grab the bar behind me, keep my feet where they are, get onto my toes, get into positioning, still using the rack. I'm gonna use the rack and I'm gonna push my chest back up to the bar and set myself onto my traps. You're gonna see with my feet, I'm still using my feet to push my chest into my chin. I'm going to unrack and then we bench. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've tried it or what other technique cue works for you. I would love to hear it. That being said, I hope that you guys have a really great weekend. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And